Hello and welcome to the MVS Show, episode 530. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we got a lot of news for you this week. So let's not dilly-dilly and hop right into it. So first up is... Russian Pony website, The Pony Insider, reports that Miyamori Fest convention has been shut down due to LGBTQ propaganda. <clears throat> The Russian convention, Miyamori Fest, has apparently been shut down due to promoting LGBTQ propaganda, with police moving and sorry, moving in and sending everyone home, according to the Russian online news site, The Insider. Apparently, people were just sitting around, enjoying themselves, when the Russian FSB rolled in and dispersed the event. Hopefully, this doesn't mean the end of the con over there. Well, we got follow-up. Uh, Russian Miyamori Fest clarifies convention shutdown. Hmm, okay. The Russian convention that was shut down yesterday has released a statement going over exactly what happened at the event. Police did arrive due to an anonymous, anonymous tip that the event was promoting 18 plus content to minors but what they but when they arrived they didn't find anything that really broke the rules they did however request the convention close up shop early which they agreed to do in the end only about two hours were lost over the course of the event uh, you can read their statement over here Though it will need some Google Translate in Russian. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> uh, first up, without uh, the convention statement here to clarify things, it, I I would have probably guessed that um, this was some kind of uh, government thing where uh, they don't really they 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 they're not they're not into the how how do I put this. I need to put this delicately. They're, they they do not support LGBTQ and whatnot. And with the pony convention thingy, I, I can see where they're coming from. But with the uh, <coughs> clarification, it seems that they were just some meanie didn't want them to have fun and just reported some bad some some just some heinous rumors that were not true and the police went in there with the uh with the uh, with with getting ready to bust down some kind of illegal um 18 plus thing but in all reality it's just uh grown adults being responsible and promoting the power of friendship and ponies <clears throat> and well just closing up early to, to be honest I, I got no idea like I, I guess it's to how would I put this I guess it's just to clean things up make sure things are on the up and up so the police can do proper investigation and why not who knows but yeah um that that sucks. That really sucks. <clears throat> but like uh, Seth reported here, they only lost about two hours, which is not bad in the grand scheme of things. Uh, let's just say you start at ten, and you're supposed to end at seven, and the two hours lost. I I, I guess the part that sucky is the convention, uh, the the what you call this, the the vendor halls. Those are the ones that are screwed over because with those extra two hours, we could have gotten sales. But, yeah. Knowing convention goers, they will probably have fun elsewhere. <laughs> so let's move on to the next topic. Next topic is... Quistal... Uh, oh, God. Quistal Wens. My Little Pony Memory Revealed by Midnight Jack Toy Fair. That's right, at, <laughs> at Toy Fair. Alright, uh, apparently the Quichu Huen Mighty Jack figures are getting a third set. Uh, 
dedicated entirely to the princesses uh, this time around from their Toy Fair announcement, new window box series SRP PVC PVC 5 inch tall figure window box display perfect for physical re re yeah. uh, retail and for in box collection for characters so separately. Oof. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, it has been a while since uh, this line popped up with anything. Our last posting was back in 2022, except uh, them later in the year for now, praise the princesses. So this looks pretty cool and yeah, uh, I, I can't say much because it looks really awesome. Uh, the way that they're posing and whatnot. Okay, um, to be honest, this is the Funko. Um, this this is the Funko style of doing work where you grab a mold, you make them all the same, and you recolor them. <coughs> uh, but the main looks different, and that's awesome. I see they have all four princesses: Celestia, Luna, Cadence, and Twilight. So that's awesome. Uh, let's see how the last posting was. Uh, I, I don't really remember how that one was. So this was 22. I think I reported on this one before. Okay, so uh, there... Okay, so that, that's fascinating. Instead of doing a blind box for uh, the princesses, like uh, with, with the crystal stained glass painting, uh, y you get this instead. So that's pretty cool. So you you get, yeah. But I I can see where the crystal is. Uh, the crystal is for their main and scales. All right. Uh, did they also post anything from the first generation? Ah, yes. This is the one. So this was. <coughs> oh no! This is this announcement. Uh, April. Let's see. Okay, this is, this is just an announcement and whatnot. All right. So anyway, uh, back to this. Uh, so from what I'm understanding here, there are only four uh, ponies for this one. So uh, I'm guessing you can pick which one you want out, right out of the box. Like it's a clear display case kind of thing. Um, from what I'm reading here, uh, five inch tall figure window box display. So meaning uh, you'll get a box with the pony right in front of it. So probably a crate would have, sorry, a, a, a set would have four of them and a crate would have a cr probably four set of boxes. Uh, <coughs> probably, that, that makes sense. So yeah, th this would be really awesome. Um, and if you're not interested in buying all of them, I would highly suggest sharing because if you, the logic is usually if you buy one each, the prices of them would probably be increased. But if you buy the whole set, uh, you'll get a slight discount. And if you have four people joining in the buy, Basically, each person will pay at the discounted price, which is awesome, but I could be wrong. Uh, but let's move on to the next topic. <clears throat> next topic is Renegade Games reveal new expansion for My Little Pony deck building game, Scholarly Shenanigans. <clears throat> uh, deck building fans just keep winning. We get uh, yet another expansion to the My Little Pony deck building game, this time focused around the school and the student six. During uh, the presentation, three of them were revealed, along with two location and card you get all, uh, all ready for it. Uh, it's not listed on their website yet, but we'll definitely update once it is. Cool, cool. So let's see. Uh, yeah, here's the thing. I I haven't played the deck building game yet, but 
from what I understand about deck builders, they're kind of fun where you pick cards and what, there's a, there's a certain way. Um, I, the only deck building game I played before was Tanto Kore, something like that. It was a very fascinating game, but yeah, I, I think I played that before. It was interesting, but yeah, uh, for this one, uh, what's revealed here as for now is you'll get three characters and two locations. So, if you guys got no idea what this is, it's just an expansion to the main game. You still need to get the uh, core, core core set where you get all the main six and all the uh, what you call this, all the locations and all the troubles and enemies and so on. And what the expansion does is just add in a more flavor, with more characters, more powers, more problems, and so on. And this is <coughs> true for uh, this expansion set where you get small Leona and Silver Stream. Um, clicking on this, uh, making it a bit big, bigger, uh, we can see Smolder's ability is uh, flip any two resource tokens you uh, to have target player gain two of the same resource token then you'll have what um yona uh, and yona starting side um flip any sorry flip and pay one sugar cube to give each player two tokens uh, two luck tokens I, I don't know so yeah uh the, the deck building game has been going on for a while now so we get to see a lot of Tensions going on, so that's really awesome. But anyway, moving on to the next news, we have a lot here, sir. Uh, Renegade Games are they the same people that Renegade? Yeah, oh yeah, Renegade Games new preview for story for, of the seasons. The My Little Pony RPG continues receiving regular updates with the upcoming story of the season adventure book releasing in May of this year. They also have the story page for it going into details on what exactly you can expect out of this one. Let's click this one. Let's click this one and see what it gives us. Ah, okay, so this is an expansion again. Uh, Okay, let's see. All right, all right. So I I need to break down a few things a bit for you guys at home who got no idea what this is. So essentially, what this is is a um, a lack of a better word or lack of better term, a Dungeons and Dragons book. Uh, instead of using the Wizards of the Coast Five E game engine they're using their own which is renegade game studios using their own uh game engine which i for the life of me got no idea what it's called <clears throat> it's totally different from the 5e system but the general idea is still the same so uh when you see this for example uh these are all the expansion sets that you can get so um just just on this for a bit um what this is, uh, the My Little Pony role-playing game story of the season adventure and source book, is a, a, a lack of a better word, an expansion to the main game. Uh, you get more scenarios, you get more stuff, and so on. Uh, let's see. Features. Adventure appropriate for characters of any level. Uh, seasonal adventure incorporated the page. Time adventures for players to create equestrian holiday and adapt personal and meaningful holiday to MLP, including rules of blah blah blah. And, uh, ooh, ooh, this is important, including rules for playing an additional creature type griffin. Finally, that's cool. Downtime rules uh, includes for easy to run seasonal story. All right, cool, 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 cool. cool. So, um, getting back on track. So, this one here is a bundle worth $90 and you'll get almost everything. You get the core rulebook, you get 
the uh, first adventure, which is uh, this one, My Little Pony role playing game in a gem adventure and GM screen. I think I, I think it just the, the GM screen is good, the this one, but yeah, uh, you, you get that too with a lot of other stuff. There's a lot of things in the bubble, but the thing is, you need to get the core rule book to get this one. So, um, just getting back on track with this one, um, you, you, you get uh, stuff like, uh, what do you call this? Give me a second, eh? Just double checking and so on. Okay, so, um, what was I trying to get at? So, yeah, uh, you get the book, you, you read the source and you kind of be a dungeon master or a game master. So the story of season here is um, this book is a uh, supplementary to the core uh, ro role playing game. So you need to uh, a copy of core rule book. Yeah, as I mentioned before, uh, so sorry. Season will take what a year is like for the pony, Ponyville, and Questria. Uh, yeah. So we, I, I'm not really going to read through it, but the general idea is that. Uh, you can add this in between any campaign that you're currently running. Uh, if you have some kind of adventure going with your party, and if you want to add in a little bit of side content, you can just put this in between and sorry, uh, and add in the story appropriate for the scenario, and it can work. So that's that's going to be awesome, and I I think there's a second page here. Uh, explaining the locations and so on. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm not gonna read through this. I'm gonna let you guys have fun reading through it and use your imagination and also probably buy the PDF or book if you are really interested in it. Unfortunately for me, I don't have anybody to play this with, so I got I, I got very sm little experience in um, playing with this uh, set. But let's move on to the next news. <clears throat> Brand new G5 My Little Pony, a Zephyr Heights mystery game revealed. OG or right games. You explore Maritime Bay a few years ago, and who's this? Uh, a few years ago, and now you can do even more pony gaming with a brand new G5 gaming set to release for consoles and PC. In May of the 17th, uh, this comes for <coughs> the exact. Uh, this comes from the exact. Uh, sorry, this comes from the exact game comp. Let's see, G's there, C's there. Game company as Maritime Bay Adventure, and seems to be filled with the same type of. Content from the screen cap, including collection, pony simulation, mini games, and more. At uh, all of this taking place in everybody, sorry, everyone's favorite G5 Pegasus City, Amazon listing, blah blah blah, yes, and so on. Awesomeness. So anyway, um, there's a trailer which is here, and I've seen it, and it's pretty cool. So from what I saw of the trailer. It's technically the same gameplay design as the previous one that I did a Let's Play for. And let's see. Yeah, I did a Let's Play for it. Um, Return Bay Adventure. It was fun. But that game was single player focus. Uh, you, you, can, you, play with your, you, you play by your lonesome and you just do stuff. Uh, you can... Play mini, there's a lot of mini games to play, collectathons, uh, old and uh, yeah, it's just collection and mini games, and a bit of mystery to solve at the current time. So <clears throat> with this one, uh, they added a new character which is Misty, and she is the second unicorn of the group. Uh, I got no idea. How you will be playing this? Because from what I remember, uh, in the first game you play as 
sunny and you do stuff like corralling animals, finding secret, finding missing stuff and so on. But in this one, uh, a, mis a, a Zephyr Hyde mystery, from what I saw of the trailer, you get to play as the uh, uh, SG5, as the G56. That sounds so wrong. I, I want to say main six, but that's G4 thing. The new, the new six. Well, I, I guess that that sounds close enough, right? I, I'm, I'm dubbing them the new six. Yes, henceforward you'll be known as the new six. So anyway, um, you'll be playing as the new six. You you can play as uh, Sunny uh, and. Hitch and Misty and so on. And the best part is you can play with your friend slash sibling where they can control a second player and they can play the mini games with you. Uh, there was a split screen where you fly through rings. So that's pretty awesome. Wait, where is... Okay, there she is. <clears throat> so it's coming out on the 17th of May. Yeah, uh, if you are a pony fan and wanting to play some pony games to be honest g4 was right for this but we didn't get any so hence we'll, we'll get this so it says that it's available on the switch series x ps5 and ps4 so yay that's cool uh, ah yes here we go every pony is here play with your favorite ponies explore the kingdom safely cloud city of Zephyr heights Play co-op adventures with one or two players. Awesome. Look your best. Style your, style your pony. Friends with custom accessories. Uh, this is just putting on sun, sunglasses or a hat or even uh, some clothes. That's pretty really cool. Find fun everywhere with mini games, collectible photos and more. Yep, so that was all in the trailers too. So this was, this is, this is interesting. This is interesting. And, yep, it's the same gameplay as E4. Yep, uh, I'm not saying that's bad, but if it works, it works. So, yeah, I I'm going to buy it because I've been asking for pony games and I'm getting it. So let's move on to less news. Symbiote Studio Princess Luna Plush now available. Yay! Symbiote Studio has officially launched their Luna Plush. She's forty dollars for fifteen inch of Moon Horse goodness. We've been waiting on her for a long time with all these teasers. Uh, it's nice to see her in action. Get more pictures below. Uh, you can buy her at their website. So yeah, and that's pretty. Yeah, I mean that that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. I mean. I really don't know how you can do the translucent hair thingy, but this is what I expect from her. So that's that's all good. And for forty dollars, that's not bad. That's not bad. But yeah, this is the the front here really looks a bit off. If you know what I mean? I I I'm not digging the face here, but the wings are pretty cool. So anyway, um, that's the news for this week. So let's move on to the next topic. Next topic is what have I been doing with my week? And as you can probably guess, um, I have been stupid busy with the lack of updates and content. Yeah, it's, it's not that I didn't want to post anything or whatnot. It's just that A the lack of content B the schedule of my work and I, I finally found the time to do this <coughs> also it's mostly A with the lack of content but when suddenly things drop down like a waterfall that's all that's all awesome and suddenly B comes in which work so yeah this this is this is yeah, I, I can't really say much because work kind of is important and it sucks but ah no point complaining even more so um what 
I'm doing it. Yay! 530. That, that's awesome. A few more numbers just to hit 600. In the past, I say once a week is fine. But with the lack of only news that we're getting, man, that is very hard. But still, um, I'm sure we'll get some. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. But yeah, um, I, I think that's about it. Because um, the, it's, it's basically going to be a repeat of, oh, I've been doing this on the free time where Magic the Gathering and D&D. I, I still play those games. It, it's kind of a, how to say, um, re relaxing thing where I sling Magic and bash hit in D&D. Yeah. But anywho, um, let's move on to, well, wrapping this up. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support you get, a sorry, no, <laughs> I am all over the place. Yes, contact us at nbsshow.gmail.com. You can reach us on the Twitter, the show's Twitter account is at MBS show, and my personal Twitter account is at Roman Sanzo. Also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. Links are in the show notes below. Uh, if you like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Jacob, Lucky Knight, and Master of Light. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate your support. Even with the lack of content, sometimes I miss, sometimes... It's just annoying on my end because... <coughs> work. But all in all, I, I, I do try my best. And I, I do hope that you guys appreciate... Uh, uh, <laughs> how hard it was. I, I, I appreciate your guys' support and I, I do hope that you enjoy the content yes so anyway i have been roman sanzo and i'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of mbs show see ya